all the way. So any questions, anything, you can just shoot me straight away. And all the videos will be distributed to you. So you don't have to take notes, right? Because the notes will be given to you in a video format. Okay, right. So to kick off, what is the agenda that we're going to look into is to talk briefly about HTML and also PHP together with the um, CS, uh, CSS. Right, so let's have a look at PHP itself. Okay, PHP stands for Hypertext, right? Hypertext processor. And it is actually created in early 1994, right? It has evolved all the way until 2004, PHP 5. Okay, with using PHP 5, it has been integrated by this person called as Zhang. So he has developed all the way until now, right? So you can see the PHP have evolved quite a lot. Okay, so you can see all the uh, different different versions. Okay, until 2004. Alright, so the history. Briefly, you can see right now a lot of people have started using uh, PHP a lot. Do you know why? Why the reason they use a lot of PHP? Yes? What's the reason? Don't know. Or still sleepy. Okay, so this is two-way interaction class. So you have to ask. If you don't ask, mean you're still sleepy in that. Okay, tell me. Why PHP is being used? Yes? I can hear you. Hello, anybody home? Yes? Hello? Yeah. Okay, so that basically is the usage of PHP. Okay, the question is why a lot of people are using PHP? It's fast. Not to say fast. Okay, one of the most important things is what? Money. Because it's free. Yes, because it's free. Because when it's free, of course you want to use it, right? Okay? So when there is a free sale, of course you definitely be coming to that particular shop and buy free stuff. Yes? Right? Alright? Buy free stuff. Do you buy free stuff? Buy? I mean free is free. Right? You don't buy free stuff. Correct? Okay? So this is something for you to know. Right? So you can see the history has shown the domain has increased from 2000 it has increased quite rapidly right it has increased quite rapidly over the years you can see php been used not only on websites do you know mobile application also use php yes now you do okay so php also is being used to develop mobile apps all right have you heard of mobile gap before phone gap Okay, this is also another application. I will show you later. Okay, not now lah. Alright, so let's have a look a little bit about the codes. Okay, before we go a little bit further, what do you see inside here? Okay, let's have a look at this code. Okay, what do you think about this code? Can anybody explain to me? What do you think about this particular code? What do you understand? How do you get rich or how do you uh, technology that have you learned before this? This is inside here. Okay, see, there is a disability. Okay, right. So, what is this? HTML. This is also HTML, right? Right. So, this is HTML. Right. Okay, how do you define this is actually, actually a PHP? Because there is a Carrot sign with a question mark. This is like a carrot sign, right? Or bigger than or smaller than. Okay? Bigger than and smaller than. Okay? Alright, so when you see this particular code, or this particular uh, 
static syntax. So you know that this one is a PHP. If you put this on a file, on a web server without a PHP engine, do you think it will work? Why? I think somebody saying there's no. Some of them saying that not very confident. No. <laughs> okay. Or not very sure so. No. What do you think? If I do, if I put on a web server, okay, web server. What is what type of web server is available on the market? Do you know what this web server is all about? Okay, tell me, how many of you knows web server? Put your hand up. Web server? Don't know. Nobody knows what web server is. That's very bad. Okay, what is the purpose of web server? Can anybody can anybody tell me what is the purpose of web server? To surf, to surf. All right. What do you mean by surfing? Okay. When you surf to Google, or when you surf to a website, when you surf, you call that as surfing, or you access to the web server. Can you access the web server? Okay. What is a website? Let's have a look here. Let me just write down a little bit here some notes for you. What is a website? What is a website? Okay, what is a website? Tell me. What is a website? Website also don't know. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come, come. Sites create on web. Okay. Very briefly explain. Okay. Website create on web. Ah, site. Okay. My mistake. Sorry. Very diligent. Okay. Sites create on web. Okay. Okay. Sama sama. Mas sama sama. Related website means it's a collection of websites, right? Like it's the same like what you said. Okay, what I can say is it's a collection of website, web page, right? Okay, there's a collection of web page. So when you create multiple web page, you combine them all together, it becomes a website. Okay, can you give me an example of a website? What is a like, website in a, in a, in a, in a page? Facebook. Facebook is actually a website, right? But is this more towards social? Social right? Means there is a purpose. There is a purpose, one purpose, whereby you are doing a social networking website. Great, so what else do you have in some websites? Yes, come on, first, sir. Don't sleep inside my class. I don't like you sleeping inside my class. Okay, come on. Talk. Okay. I can hear a single click, so there's a click there. Stop clicking. <coughs> I can hear people clicking. Eh? Okay, no clicking. Eh? One click, careful. Eh? Ha, okay. Right, I have my assistant here. Okay. Alright, so. Alright, what else? Come on, tell me, what else? Can you consider a company website is a website? Okay, 
you have a session networking, you have company website, what else? Okay, organization, company is the same, alright, Samu? Yeah? Zalora.com, alright, this is actually an example, isn't it? Okay, so whenever you do a, what? What do you do in Zalora? Shopping, huh? your favorite stuff to do, isn't it? Yes, okay, good. Okay, alright, Samu, 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 what is Twitter, right? So Twitter is also quite similar to social networking. All right, this is actually an example of website. Okay, where do you put this website? Huh? Log. You located inside a web server. So web server. So you put this into a web server. Okay. So web server. What is a web server? It's something to host. The host to host the website. Alright, so from here, what do you understand that web server is hosting the website? When you create a website, you put this website inside your web server. Okay, so web server. What type of web server is available in the market? Okay, Warm is actually an application. Alright. Let's categorize your web server. Okay, let's categorize your web server. Let's look into your operating system first. Okay, how many operating system you have? Or oh, that you know? Okay, tell me. If it's many. Windows. Okay, Mac or S. Someone? Linux. Okay, someone? Linux also, there is a lot of different different types, correct? There are Red Hat, there are Ubuntu. Have you heard of this before? Yes. yes. Santos, you have many bunch of this. Okay. Mac. What is the similarity Mac with Linux? Is there any similarity? Is there any similarity? Okay. So, in brief, it is actually a Unix. What is Unix? Mac is actually a Unix base. Okay, inside Unix, you have Sun, Sun Tolerance, right? Okay, oh, not Sub, eh? Sun. Alright, so then you have Mac. Alright, then you have, uh, here you have Red Hat. Right, what else just now? Santos, Ubuntu, Jangan Kabuntu, Sedal. Right, so Ubuntu. Right, what else? Fedora. Alright, so what's the difference between Fedora and uh, Red Hat? Any difference? Okay, so what is the difference between Red Hat and Fedora? Yes, you know, or you don't know. Red Hat and Vidora is the same company who make it. Right? It's the same company who make it. One of them is free. Which one is it? So, what I can say now here is Fedora is a free version, Red Hat is a paid version. Why there is a paid version, there's a free version? What is the difference? If I'm a company, would I buy a paid version or free version? What is the free version? What if anything goes wrong? Do I sell it? Because there's a lot of data 
So to secure this, to get support from Red Hat, so I buy a paid version. So that's why they has a Red Hat Enterprise version. Okay, no looking at phone also. Huh? Okay, whoever is looking at phone, no looking phone. Hello, still looking at phone. Are you concentrating or not? Okay, right, no looking phones, no looking at anything else. Huh? Okay, if you're not interested, tell me also. Then I can let you out. Okay, right. So, Red Hat and Fedora. Alright, I can see every single one of you. Alright. I can hear you, I can smell you. Okay, I don't want to smell you. Huh? Okay, so please concentrate. Okay, so you already know the operating system where by Windows, you have Unix, you have Linux. Where does the Apache fall? You have you have, you know about Apache, right? Okay, what is Apache? What is the difference between OS and server? It is actually an operating system that manages all the keywords. Right, to manage one of the manage the file system on your computer. Right. So that is the operating system. Right. When you talk about web server, right, so down here, web server. Commonly, okay, commonly if you're using Windows, if you want to use Microsoft, right, then you can actually use what you call as IIS. Have you heard of IIS before? Alright. IIS is actually one of the web server which is available under Microsoft. Okay, under Microsoft. Web server which is called as IIS. I'll just let you know first. Under Mac. Alright, you can also use Apache. Okay, Apache also got many different types of Apache. Alright, there is Tomcat. Head of Tomcat before? No. Okay, Apache just Apache itself. Right? You have Apache Tomcat. Right? You have also another item called Glassfish. Head of Glassfish? Ah, this is a weird, weird name. Huh? Okay, it's a Glassfish. Alright? Right, so in a way, this version is available under here. All here will be available inside here. Right? So this is one. I maybe put another color here so that we can distinguish this. Right? So you can see right now, this is the Linux version whereby you have Apache, Tomcat, and Classfish. But the thing is, along the way, a lot of people want to use this application inside Windows. So because of that, they also create something that can be Use under Microsoft or under Windows itself. Okay, let's look a little bit here. Alright, so you can see right now whereby you have a Microsoft version, a Windows version, and you have Linux or Unix version, whereby it uses Apache Tomcat and Flashfish, but you also have the IRS on the side. Okay, let's look a little bit further here. Alright, so I'll just put this in a, in a different color so that we can distinguish this again. Okay, right, so this one here. Right, you can see this is the operating system. You have the web server. Okay, type of programming. Okay, type of programming that you can actually use under iOS. Okay, can you tell me what type of programming that you can actually use under iOS? Okay, one of them. Are you familiar with ASP.NET? Okay, this is actually under Microsoft. If you intend to use IIS, then you will be needing to use ASP.NET. Alright, so ASP.NET here. Okay, if you intend to use Apache, Tomcat, and Glassfish. Okay, so this is actually an example. If you intend to use Apache, right? Apache is mainly just web server. 
Just to cross that side, nothing more than that. Okay? If you intend to use Tomcat, then you need to use Java or what you call as J to double E. Are you okay? Do you know what's J to double E? Alright, you will be learning this one also, maybe. In the future, not now. Okay? In the future, in the market, there's a lot of them that will be available. Okay, I think there's a lot of new things inside here that I want to just to share with you within half an hour. I just want to give you a brief idea about all this. Okay, so you have the SP.NET that uses IIS. Okay, Apache is just a web server. It's not PHP, it's not whatever. It's just web server itself. If you intend to use Tomcat, then we use, you, you'll be able to use j 2 e Also the same thing also here. This is also j 2 e Okay, this is by another company. Okay, this is another by another company. Okay, Tomcat is by, uh, they call this as Jakarta Tomcat. Right, they call it the Jakarta Tomcat. And previously, Glassfish was made by Sun. Sun, Sun system. But until uh, 2010, Oracle has bought over Glassfish. So now it becomes Oracle Glassfish. Right? So it's a big company. So big company has bought over Glassfish. So Tomcat is still free. It's still free, open source. There are many different types of web uh, web server which is available. I'll just give you an example here. There are more, like web sphere, IBM web sphere is also another one. Okay, so there is also other than this. You have also called as IBM Web Sphere. Okay, so you have that. You also have another version which is called as um, Okay, there are a few more. There are a lot. Okay, just make it short. Okay, so now we need to focus too much. Okay, now we want to see what Apache. Okay, so now we want to go focus on Apache. Apache is actually a web server. All this way is all web server. But using Tomcat, using Glassfish is already built in together with web server and also Java. Okay, what is the difference between JavaScript and Java? Okay, what is JavaScript? JavaScript? Anybody? All this while, when you learn about HTML, okay, when you learn about HTML, it's a client side or server side? Okay, what do you mean by client side?
restaurant. Okay, safari, safari, you like safari? Ah, safari. Okay, of course, using Mac. Right. So those who are in favor with Mac, of course, you like the safari lah. Okay, so far for myself, from my experience, I would like to use either Firefox and Google Chrome. Why? I'll tell you later. Okay, All right. So use the browser here. Okay, how does the browser work now? Okay, this is your browser. Okay, when you use a browser, okay, what? How do you communicate in your browser with the web server? Okay, how do you communicate the? Okay, how do you communicate in your browser with your web server? Huh? URL. Okay, you will enter a URL. Okay, so what is URL actually stands for? Uniform resource locator. Okay, that is what this URL is actually about. Right? Okay, but this is what I want you to know is what is URL for? Okay, the question here is how do I know that you are you? How do I know that you are you? Organization who deals with the legislation. Who is the organization? Okay, one big question. Okay, you find yourself. You let, uh, you let me know later this evening. Right? So I need to register my company. Okay, when I register my company, okay, I will register a name. Okay, cucubada.com. Alright, so for example, lah, okay, my company name, I want to give Cucu Bada. I want to say Cucu Bada. Then I want to make a website. Okay, can or not? Can okay, I can make any name I want, right? Yes. But if that name is already available, can I use that name also? No, because it's not unique. But sometimes there is somebody who have the same name, right? But how do I make it If you Google search on your name, do you think your name will appear? Yes. What is it? Okay, let's see. After this, I want to know your name. How many times your name has been, you, you are you, 
comes out top 10 does it comes out top 10 or is it okay we see after this huh? okay who's the most have to belanja okay so much okay all right who's the most you let me know okay i want to see are you famous or not famous not famous huh? okay we see after this okay when we have a break later we see who is the most famous inside this class okay i want to know who is the famous guys huh is it yeah? We see after this, huh? uh, during the break time, later on, you will have a test. I want to know, how many of you get top 10? When you put your name, all top 10 your name. Can you get that? It's really referring to you. It's either you refer, you will be referred to a Facebook or to whatever. Okay, we want to see whether your name is famous or not. Okay, alright, never mind. That's a part of that. Okay, this is a little bit uh, further now. Okay, you have a URL. My URL, uh, my website they want to do is Chucho Bada. Okay, Chucho Bada. Okay. Ah, Chucho ni, right? Kesian Bada, kena Chucho. Okay. Chucho, right? Eh, Chucho. Betul tak? Okay. R, ah, okay. Sorry lah, my BM not very good. Okay, cucur. Okay, tak lah, try lah. Okay, cucurbadak.com Okay, so I register this name. So once I register this name, what do I do then? Once I register this name, what do I do then? Okay, I got the name. So right now, I have a newborn baby. Okay, I want to name her or him cucurbadak. <laughs> Okay, so my daughter or my son is Chucho Bada. Okay, then what do I do with the name? I go to the name and right? I register so that I get her. I see, okay, my daughter's name is Chucho Bada. I see number is blah blah blah. Okay, right? Then I call myself Chucho Bada. Right. Okay, so the thing is right now, I have this particular name and I want to register. Okay, in an internet environment, I have a name, then I register. I will register to a IP address. Okay, I have an IP address. So this server will have an IP address. So this my baby name here is okay, Chucho Bada. Right. Okay, so the IP here is 1.1.1.10. Okay, this is my IP address that I refer to. So this is the name. Then I refer this name to here. So this is actually one organization which actually handles the list of names. Alright, so they call as DNS server will capture this name and put it inside a table and I refer to this IP address. Okay, so there will be many tables here which consists of google.com, yahoo.com, blah blah blah, which have this one big table inside here. Alright, so now the name of my website is Chucho Bada and the IP address is inside here. So now what actually happened, this is my table. Okay, this table is being kept by this organization called SIAB. Okay, right? This company of this organization who handle the IP address. Right, there are many about this one. I will talk to you about this one later. Lah. To talk about DNS, it's five days. Not, not enough time. Okay, I just, in short. Okay, DNS, I keep this name, I keep this IP address. So, when a browser is being open, when this browser open, then I put this IP address in my URL. So, what basically happen now is, my browser will refer this name to this particular, particular name, right? So when I refer to this particular name, my browser will get the IP address. So when I get the IP address, then the browser will know where you are located. For example, okay, Diana is sitting in Japan. Alright, so I look, okay, Diana, where are you? Okay, so Diana will answer, somebody will answer, hey, Diana, I'm in Japan, lah. 
You find the data. Okay. So now the browser will tell will refer to this particular person. Okay. We're not working okay, in Japan, so it goes to Japan. Hey, no, no. Okay, somebody wants to talk to you. Okay. Then I can able to connect to you. So the browser will link to here. We'll get to the server. Are you okay? So far, so good. Alright, so once I already have this, then what happened now is the browser is connected to the to the, to the server. Okay, once I already connected to the server, okay, once I already connected, can I, do, should I ask again and again? Where is the other is? Where is the other is? Should I ask again? No need. One time only and is now. So once I already know, the other is in Japan. So she's there. Okay? Now, I'm referring to the server. So, for example, Diana is in Japan. So, where is she staying now? Right. She's in Japan. Japan is a very big area, right? And how do I know Diana is in Tokyo? What I go away? Who should I ask? Should I, who should I ask? The browser will ask the server. Okay, the server will say, okay, right now you want to access what? Okay, I want to access the web server. So it goes to the web server. Okay, so the web server will respond to it. Right, so you respond to the, to the web server. Okay, so the web server will refer to the the server will be uh, referred to the web server. Alright, so we see browser will go to the server, the server will go to the web server. Okay, when the server is available, then you will know okay, which website that you want to go to. Then it refers to this website. So then this website will be given to the browser. Do you understand the flow? Are you clear so far? Any questions? Okay, so the thing, the thing is right now, can, can I have one server, or web, one, one web server, multiple websites? Can I do that? Yes, I can have multiple websites. So how do I define, define difference between one website, website with another website? It's the same web address, the same server. Different folder. When you create a different folder, another folder, another folder. One folder of website is you can consider that is actually a website. If, if I create another folder, okay, after this I will show you. I think so far you have done using CS3, right? You manage your project file, right? When you manage to create a folder, you link to your folder inside one WW, right? When you create a folder, when you create a folder, then it's actually one. Website. When you create another folder, you create another website. Are you okay so far? Great. So how do I differentiate between web server? If I have a multiple web server, can I have a multiple web server? Okay, if I want to have a multiple web server, for example, Diana is in Japan. So where is she sitting? Okay, she's sitting right in front, chain number two. Right? Position. I can put it. So basically, a browser can also do the same. Go to the web server. Go to the web server. So this web server also has another item that you can actually distinguish. Which is actually the port number. Okay? Port number. So this port number will be elevated to the web server. So browser will go to the server. Then you will go to which port? And this part will go to the website. Okay, what is the default port number for you to go to any website? Port 80. Okay, right? Are you okay so far? I think everybody knows that, right? Okay, if I want to go to a secure socket area, port, what is the port number default number? Okay, Number for 
So, four four three. So, four four three is the default IP address. I mean, the default port number for you to do the port. Okay. Are you okay so far? Right. Now let's look into the environment that you want to do now. PHP. Okay. Where does the PHP stands? Where do you, where do you put your PHP inside this diagram? Yeah. Web server. Where is it? Web server. Okay. So let me enlarge this a little bit so that we can see this one better. So this is your website. This is your diagram. Okay. So right. Right. So this is your website. Okay. So now. Now you want to install Apache. So Apache is really an example of a web server. Okay, Apache is a web server. So now web server is managing website, as I told you. Okay, where does the PHP stand? Can we see inside the web server? Inside the server, where? Okay, it's located inside the web server. Okay, so now are you okay so far? So this is your PHP engine. Okay, so a bit distorted here. Okay, Alright, so now I access my website. So my website goes to the web server. So the server will go to Apache. Then I go to the website. Okay, when the website is obtained, then I give this file directly to the browser. Okay, what actually happened now? Okay, when I do this, okay, the browser will go to the Web server. Okay, so I repeat. So browser will go to the web server IP address and it goes to Apache. Obtain the file and this file sent to browser. Okay, do you call this one is a server side or client side? Huh? Client side. Okay. Then how the server basically works? Okay, so when the browser obtain the file, the web server will pass the file completely. So pass the file to the browser. So the browser will open the file straight away without processing. There is no processing. Okay, so basically what happened now? So client side. will open the web page okay, without processing okay so what you can see here is client side will open the web page without processing so the web server will pass the file directly to the browser so this is what you call as client side i think all this while what you have done what have you learned is actually this part. Alright, so now this is the part where you're going to enable uh, we're going to join together with PHP so that you can actually supply your website to the browser with a server side programming. Okay, how does the server side programming basically work? Okay, let's have a look here. Right, server side. Okay, server side, what does it basically do is Okay, for example, I, I, I go to tutorbadat.com, it goes to my server, so my server will point out to my connection here. Okay, it goes to my web server, but before it can actually go to the website, it has to ask the PHP engine first. Okay, you ask the PHP engine. Okay, is there anything to process or not? Okay, if there is anything to process, okay. So you do a 
response asking the PHP engine. So PHP engine will process the view, will submit to the web server, then only will view to your website. Are you okay so far? Okay, so this is what server side is all about. Are you clear or not, or not clear? Right, so you need to know that whatever that PHP engine need to process first is called as server side. Once it's been sent directly from the website to the web browser, you call this as a client side. Are you okay so far? Okay, so now to demonstrate this one, let's open up your yes, yes, 3 Okay, so maybe we can have a break first lah. Okay, let you relax for a while. Okay, you want to do your search your name, who's your top name or not? Okay, you can do a top name, who's the top, you tell me. Okay, 10 minutes break lah. Huh? 